Hello, welcome to STEM with Mr. Duda. Today I wanted to talk to you about a way that you can make it so your lithium ion batteries, this would work for other batteries too, so they don't go bad. Um, because in storage, if they're fully charged, if I set this Baofeng uh, onto the charging base and let it fully charge up to 4.2 volts per cell, and I believe this is a 2S, so looking at 8.4 uh, volts, you can measure that by putting the multimeter on the positive and the negative. Um, if I do that, the battery is going to go bad eventually, just sitting there. And obviously, if I'm not going to use this radio very often, uh, that would be a bad choice. Uh, same with this BF888S and really any, any uh, radio or anything that uses batteries. So what I've done here is I took the base to the BF888S. I'm sorry, 888S, and I connected directly to the two connectors, and I'll show you how that works in a second, and that runs to my smart battery charger, where I am discharging it right now to storage voltage. Uh, here I have the base for a Baofeng uh, UV5R, and you'll notice it has the two contacts, so we've got this and that. Uh, it says that's positive and that's negative. I would double check that. When I'm looking at the battery as well, it'll tell you positive and negative when you put it in. Um, I've opened it up. The way I opened it up was nice and easy. So this was, and I'll probably have this backwards, but this was sitting on there. Um, maybe I opened up backwards? I don't know. I don't think I did. <laughs> so it was in there, and all I did was take a flathead screwdriver. I stuck it in between here, and I twisted, and that popped these two clips, and then it just opened up. And if we look, if you look nice and close, we've got the negative wire right here. It says negative right on the board. And the positive wire. And those run to these connectors. Well, all you need to do, the nice thing about this one is, you can just bypass this entire board. So desolder this, desolder this, and connect it to one of these. I believe it's an XT60. I, I'm blanking on the name right now. Um, then you need a smart charger, but I had this already for my drones, my cars, stuff like that. So this works out really, really well. Um, just, you know, solder these wires to the negative and the positive um, of that XT60, and then you will be able to ch fully charge it as well as uh, get it to storage voltage. Now, the only issue with that is this does make it so this will not work uh plugging it into the wall. So that will sort of dedicate this UV5R to be working on this charger. I have multiple UV5R chargers as well as multiple BF888S chargers. So sacrificing one of each wasn't a big deal at all. That will save your batteries a lot. It will make them last a lot longer. And then when you need to use them, just fully charge them. And then you can easily discharge them uh, sometimes I used to leave them on. This is a much better way running it on the smart charger. It, any charger would work uh, that is decent. Okay? Well, thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe if you are interested in STEM-related topics. Have a wonderful day, everybody.